Oh, come on, man. Holy. Good morning, folks. Today we are going after some of the largest fish that our area has to offer. Now, this time of year, we have monster fish swimming up and down our beaches, and it takes the right bait, the right location, and the right tackle to catch these guys. Today, we're going after the biggest one of the year. This is a super cool little beach right here that we're going to be fishing. Lots of bait already coming down the beach with super calm waters today. I've got high hopes that we're going to get that monster fish. This is the bait of choice this morning. Big mullet head going out right here. I've got it on my pin slammer 6500 with a 12 foot ninja dagger surf rod. Pretty heavy setup and I can chunk this bait a really long ways with this setup. So let's wait out and get a good cast. Waiting out early morning like this is always interesting. It's really important that you shuffle your feet. We have an insane amount of stingrays in our bay. And so the last thing we want to do step on one early morning. See what I'm talking about? Look at that guys, literally no longer did I get that out of my mouth. There's a stingray right there at the tip of my rod. I'm gonna have to just push him on. <laughs> literally just got that out of my mouth here. But if you shuffle your feet, you should be okay. All right, we're out and ready. All right, bait number one is in place. We're getting rod number two going right here. Another big hunk of mullet. So I'm really hoping that while I'm walking this bait out, that my other rod does not go off. That has happened before. It is not the greatest feeling. <clears throat> We are going to try something a little different here. I've rigged up my Saltist MQ5000 and I've got a 20 pound leader. So my heavy rods have set out for like an hour and they're not getting hit. So I want to go light and see if uh, a lighter leader and a smaller bait will produce a bite. We are going to use the pier cart rod holder right here. All right. That's going to get them. Guys, the rod and the rod holder just got smoked right here. Oh, yeah, he's still on. He's still on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Holy cow. We got a big one on. We got a big one on. Oh, my gosh. So I couldn't get these fish to bite the, uh, the heavy tackle that's been sitting out there all morning. But as soon as we throw light tackle out, it gets hammered. I mean, this hadn't set out there, but for a couple minutes. <sighs> we'll see. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't get tangled in my other line. He's trying to get tangled in my other line. It's a really nice fish here. Really good fish. Come on. Love it. This is almost a slot fish here. Holy cow, look at this. Definitely not the monster fish that we are after, but still a really, really nice fish. By no means is this a giant that we were after, but that is a really nice redfish coming in at right at 29 inches, and we are gonna let him go. 
and get another bait out. Ah, there we go, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Let's go. Scratch your head. There you go. Just a little head scratch. Somebody left their ice bag. I'm going to get that out of the water. <sighs> All right. Well, light line for the win. Let's get another bait out. Come on, man. Got a kayaker, dude. Oh. Golly. My bad. All good. I know. I'm I'm on something though. <laughs> I literally have a kayaker hooked up right now. We got you got both my rods. <laughs> okay, I think you're uh clear of it now. Nope. Up I'm clear that way, but you you got my other rod. We'll get it taken care of. No big deal. Okay. okay. It may have came loose. No, uh, I got you on my, on my rudder. Got it. So now he is hooked up on my second rod and he's getting it off his rudder. It's all good though. Like, you know, when you fish, especially on like a weekend. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's go try to get a rod back out and get set up here and hopefully get a fish. Oh man, Whew. we finally got both rods back out. That was crazy. Oh my gosh, we're getting, oh, 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 oh my gosh. We just got destroyed. For some reason, I just don't know. This, this rod just got destroyed. I just don't think it's the one we're after here. Holy cow. So we definitely have a monster on. Is it the monster we're looking for? I don't know. Is this the one we're looking for? The problem with it is, is it has zero head shake and I don't like that. I need some head shake here. It's weird now, it's fighting super strange. Such a weird fighting fish. Such, I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss right now. I have no idea. Like no head shake whatsoever. It's also not burying in the sand like a stingray. So I'm not sure. Such a strange fighting fish. That's why it is a ray, unfortunately. That's why he felt so big. It's just a big old ray. These rays will fool you. They always feel bigger than what they really are. He ain't a giant, but he's foul hooked. That's why he's fighting so hard. Ugh. There we go. All right, we're gonna properly get the hook out. I have put a, I'm putting a board over his tail because obviously that's the part that'll get you. <sighs> Look at there guys, hook out, hook out of his mouth. Now I'm gonna use the same board to flip him back over. Here we go. Now, let's see what he'll do. 
Come on, dude. Get on out of here. There we go. So anytime you want to get the hook out of a stingray's mouth like that, you flip him over. To kind of subdue his tail so that he can't get you. He's just chilling right there, though. He does not want to go anywhere. He tired. All right, y'all. Another small bait going out on the Daiwa and the bummy stick. Let's see if we can make it happen again. <clears throat> All right. Got her bait out, ready to rock and roll. Ooh, I feel like I just got a bite. Hold up. Hold up. I'm like walking my bait back in and I felt like something just picked it up, but I can't tell. I don't know, that was weird. Felt small, like a little catfish bite or something, so maybe it's nothing. I don't know, that is super weird. Like Feels like there's something just gnawing on it, but who knows. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm on, good gracious. I had no idea what was going on right there. Holy cow. My, oh my gosh. I got a hit. I cannot believe that. I got a hit on my way in. I thought it was pinfish and stuff hitting it. And so I didn't think much of it. And then I get here and my line was like completely slack. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Okay. Another good fish, and it's funny how only the light line rig is getting stroked right now. Like, that was so confusing to me. <laughs> I'm good with it, but it was confusing. Mm. Come on. And now I know what happened. He just hit it and ran straight in with it. So I wasn't, I was just thinking that it was a, like a catfish or something. Get on up here. Nice. Another beautiful red right here. Not a, we're not getting the real big ones. So that's okay. Beautiful fish though. Look at here, guys. Rod holder, beach cart rod holder gets them every time. Another beautiful redfish, y'all. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's release them. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. Sweet. All right, let's get another bait out while they're biting. What's up, man? I follow you, man. Cool, man. Finally got out here to come fish with you. Yeah, man. <laughs> Good. On. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you in Beard? What's the guy named? Brad. Brad. Yeah. Bearded Brad. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm Man. I'm a YouTube follower. There you go. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. What y'all? Caught two redfish, a stingray, and a kayaker. <laughs> 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 That's it. Uh, watch your YouTube every day. Awesome, man. Day. Good deal. What y'all fishing for? Redfish. Okay. Whatever you catch. Yeah, there's a few out here. Bites are few and far between, but I got I've got some some nice ones. So we did not get the big fish we were after this morning. However, it was still a fun day out on the beach. So folks, if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything I'm involved with is linked in my description below. We will catch you next time.